So this is a lick which is you makes use of chromatic notes. And this is a yeah like like a normal blues lick. But then you can do it one trick up. Which is nice because this is the nine of the of the minor. Gives a nice jazzy sound. And then if you do it again, you go to the this note. Which is really nice because this this shape comes from E7. And so if you play over E minor, this whole lick is over E minor. You can think of the chord A7 in between as a color. So you don't have to play over this this structure to play this lick. You can think you play over E minor and you think this note as the color of this A7, which is imaginary. So the, the nice thing about this lick is this uh, 9 and 13. So the idea also is here that sometimes the guitar just by positions and what's easy for the guitar can uh, create nice ideas. So this for piano, it's a lot harder because you have to transpose to different positions. But for the guitar, it's quite easy. It's almost the same. You see, it's almost the same. And I can also make variations on this shape. So that's cool. Cool idea also for the guitar to think of shapes and then uh, come up with ideas. So for example, if you would play this, which is 11, 11, 12, 12. But the piano is really hard, so when a piano player plays this, he, he thinks he's doing great stuff. And it sounds really cool. But on the guitar, maybe as a guitar player, you're not aware that it, this is, sounds really cool because it's so easy, but... Make use of this advantage of the guitar, I would say. Okay. 